Ok, hello, hello to my astrology lovers, to my astrology fans. Welcome to today's video. Today I would like to continue my series about Mars in partners' houses. Today I decided to continue, so let's do third house, even though, of course, <laughs> third house is really not, let's say, the most popular or even valuable house in Sinastri. For those who are new here, hello, hi, welcome, my name is Beata, I am from horoscopesandreadings.com, I am your astrologer and I am also a tarot reader and I upload videos weekly, new videos weekly, so in case you are interested to learn more about astrology or you know just to have fun with my pick a cards, definitely hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button as well so you will not miss any of my new videos, okay? I'm always open to the topics you really want to discuss. I have noticed that there is really plenty of comments uh, under my videos that are really specific and these are, you know, better to answer uh, in uh, in uh, consulting with me, you know, when I read your horoscope because, you know, I am not able to answer really specific detailed questions about your relationships here, okay? But obviously I am here for you, you can contact me, it is really, really simple. I can read any type of chart. The, the Everyone's favorite, it looks like, is really relationship horoscope or, or so-called synastry, but I dive, you know, uh, deeper into composite as well when it comes to reading uh, your synastry chart. So this is definitely one of my services, but I offer plenty of them, really. You can read more about it under this video or you can visit my website horoscopesandreadings.com. So let's get back uh, to Mars in the third house. Yes. Uh, the truth is that this is not very even welcome position in Sinastri because uh, what uh, this really means or at its best what this can mean is really bring some let's say heated uh, discussions in a relationship okay and uh, yeah but it all depends how healthy is Mars person's Mars in their birth chart because obviously Planet Mars is um, malefic, right? Uh, planet Mars in its core is not a planet uh, we like to see and especially if it includes some difficult, harmful aspects, for sure he, here will be verbal fights in a relationship, okay? I mean really, at its best you can discuss very intensively about uh, any topic and uh, this can actually be something uh, which is welcome to some people. For example, I have my Mars, Mar na my natal Mars in my third house. So obviously uh, communication is very important and uh, I need someone with whom I can communicate. So I'm probably that exception that I would definitely welcome someone's Mars being in my third house even though probably we would still argue a lot okay because third house is originally ruled by gemini so you can definitely expect that these two people will be very much opinionated and they will be very bold in you know making their statements known to each other and sometimes you know this uh, power dynamic can occur because uh, each of these people they would allow to win that argument okay over the partner but this is certainly uh, not the healthiest way how to handle relationship in its core that's why we have to be uh, you know careful you know, problem with this position is that uh, this, you know, doesn't bring attraction, this doesn't bring love, okay, it's, it's all about uh, how good or bad we communicate with each other. I will say this, if you don't have any experiences in your natal chart with Mars being there or if you don't have like Aries on the cusp of the third house, 
This can be oh, quite surprising uh, to have someone's Mars in your third house because uh, simply you are not used to you know to talk a lot to argue a lot you know to, to still uh, have some opinion on something so so yes then in this regard mars person's energy um, can be let's say um, too intense for you or 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 you may not feel like you are prepared for this type of uh, conversations that are like endless and and still there is more to discuss and you know a lot of verbal conflicts you know the worst case uh, scenario with this position can be definitely verbal abuse from the mars person but this is the worst case scenario because it all depends on how Mars person handles their Mars in the natal chart, okay? What else uh, this position can bring? Uh, definitely a lot of short travels. So you will see that uh, Mars person will be very much uh, initiator when it comes to going outside, you know, experience new things you know going like on a weekend holiday or things like that this is definitely one of the more positive traits of this mars because this mars i mean everyone's mars uh, typically is very active you know in their natal chart and you have to understand and then this person brings this very fiery sometimes feisty energy into the travel okay so probably a lot of outdoor activities in general can be happening you can definitely meet new people through mars person and uh, sometimes because third ma third house can be very much underrated but third house sometimes also means owning your own business so in in some cases you can definitely start new business uh, with your partner or your partner will be the source of a great idea and you will pursue this idea just thanks to your partner okay but um in general because this is gemini house third house is gemini house and mars is obviously aries and uh, there can definitely be some clashes but uh, the best case scenario is that you will become best friends because third house is also friends house and you will be very openly communicating your issues with each other but you know come to this point with your person uh, first you really have to check their mars aspect to their mars position of their mars in their na natal chart and obviously <laughs> everything uh, connected uh, to their natal mars such as if they are prone to anger issues or how they handle stress Okay, guys, so this was my analysis about Mars in partner's third house in Sinastri. Let me know what you think. I love to read your comments. And uh, don't forget that I can still offer you my two courses. One is uh, Advanced uh, Sinastri and Composite course. And another one is Lilith course because uh, I, like, I really like to work with Lilith even with my clients because Lilith is that suppressed or repressed part of us which is very very shady. In my opinion Lilith is even more harmful even in relationships than Pluto. Okay, So definitely check it out. Everything is listed in the description below. And yeah, uh, see you next week and until then I wish you a very nice day. Bye bye. Oh, that's